Hello, welcome to yoga with me. I'm Jane. I'm really honored that you're here and practicing this, this movement, this movement and this intention. I love it. So I invite you to start off standing. And today I would like to set an intention to take it easy. <laughs> take it easy, man. Um, I want to make this a little bit more of a stretchy kind of a flow. So I'm going to, we'll start off moving a little bit and get the body warmed up. And then we're just going to, we're going to stretch because sometimes we just got to relax and take it slow. So starting off on your mat, you can start off at the, you can start off at the back of your mat if you would like. I'm going to stand here. And I invite you to feel your feet on this earth. Maybe you take a couple sways to the left and to the right and just start to feel your presence upon this earth plane, in this reality, in this now moment. Feel all the parts of your feet touching this earth. Maybe you rock a little bit forward and backward. Maybe you bend your knees. You just kind of move a little bit. Maybe your arms get a little loose. And start to feel your movement on this planet. Notice how your feet are placed. Are they about the distance of your hips? Are they wide? Are they feet together? Be comfortable in your stance. My feet are about hips distance, maybe a little bit more and start to cultivate an awareness of your breath. If you'd like to close your eyes. Start to focus on your inhales and your exhales. Maybe you are having your hands comfortable, reaching down toward the earth, feeling the weight of your hands, pulling your shoulders down. You feel your tailbones, energy pulling toward the earth. As you feel the top of your crown pull toward the sky, creating length and space in your spine with every breath you take. More energy begins to pour up through your feet, through your legs, through your torso, up through the top of your head. And every breath you release, perhaps energy pours from the sky all the way down through your head, around you, through your entire body and pouring down through your feet. Becoming present in this now moment, standing in this channel of energy connecting you with the heavens and the earth. Perhaps you take a hand and place it on your heart and recognize that this is the center most point, that you are. You have always been with you. This heart has never left you. This heart maybe has gotten a little soft and quiet. Maybe it's been loud and obnoxious. But recognize that this heart, the core and essence of your being, has always been with you. This is the center most point of knowledge of the I am presence. The I am is you. It's your connection with source, with your spirit, with the greatest version of you, the most light version of you, the most healed version of you, the most brilliant and radiant version of you is the I am. It is source. Recognizing the I am that is within each and every one of us. Take a big breath in, 
a big sigh out. <sighs> Whatever your intention is for this practice, I encourage you to rem remember that the I am is you and it is within you. So starting to just kind of get into your body, just kind of shake it out a little bit. Just whatever that looks like to you. Maybe you lift a foot, you shake it out. Maybe you shake out your arm and your hands. Maybe you shake your shoulders. You just shake it out a little bit. Shake your head. Ugh. Sometimes we don't even know how to shake. So planting your feet firmly, give yourself a little bit of a bouncy bend in your knees. We're gonna do some twists to get the body warm and to get some oxygen in the body. When you turn to your left, you're going to do your inhale and your exhale as you turn to the right. So let your arms be heavy and loosey-goosey and just start to let them swing around. Again, keep in a soft bend in your knees and let your body kind of just sway and swing. Be intentional and mindful with your breath. Breathing in on the left, exhale on the right. Breathe in left, exhale right. Breathe in left, exhale right. And the speed is up to you. And maybe during this, you start to repeat that, that mantra of the I am, I am, I am, I am. Notice that my hands are hitting my hips and my side waist starts to wake up parts of our internal organs as we do this. You don't have to. I also invite you to maybe soften your eyes or even close them and become really present with you and your breath and the I am that is within and that you are. Welcome to say the mantra of the I am out loud. It can be in your mind. And as we begin to bring this part to a close, don't stop abruptly. Just kind of let your arms take you to a still place. You'll notice that you'll still have movement even after your arms have stopped swinging. And just watch yourself. Don't force yourself to stop. And just see what your body does as it recalibrates itself to stillness. Once you are in the still space, feel your body, feel the energy of you moving through you. Inhale, reach both arms up, lift them high to the sky. Look up, drop the shoulders back and down. Feel even weight in both feet. Feel length in the side bodies. Maybe stretch the left arm up and then stretch the right. Maybe do this a few times. Reaching up, alternating hands. Feel length in the side body as you breathe and reach. And coming back to center, taking the left wrist with the right hand, take a breath in. As you exhale, lean to the right. Gaze perhaps looks up, shoulders are still always back and down. We tend to keep our shoulders and our ears most of the time, so it's a practice to pull them down. Feel even weight in both of the feet. As you breathe big, full breaths. Inhale back to center, reach up high. 
As you exhale, we're gonna switch sides. Take the right hand with the left wrist, and as you exhale, you'll lean over to the left. Gaze is up. Pulling gently that right arm with the left hand, shoulders drop down, even weight in both feet. Become aware of the differences in your body and the samenesses in your body. And breathe big and full through the nose if possible. Inhale, reach up high. Inhale as you reach again. Exhale, palms through heart center, forward fold. Dropping all the way down. I like to have my feet at least tip distance for this. You do you. You can take an elbow in each hand. Let the head hang heavy. Perhaps you shake it yes and no. Give it a little wiggle wobble. And just let it come to stillness. Keep a micro bend in the knees. And you can stay here or you can swing a little to the left and a little to the right. Starting to feel maybe more movement in the back of the legs and the legs themselves. Maybe you imagine the vertebrae of the spine just creating more space between them. Letting more energy and spinal fluid to move freely. Breathe big full breaths as you let your body come to stillness. Releasing the hands down, roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. The head will be last to rise. And once the head arrives, the shoulders will roll up, back, and down. The palms will face forward. Reach the hands down toward the earth. We're going to do a few more of those. Reach up as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Lift and halfway lengthen, pressing the hands on the shins. The spine is long, the gaze is down. The navel tucks toward the spine. Breathe in, forward fold. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Pausing, centering. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now at this time, inhale with a flat back, rise all the way up, reach up high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up high. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lengthen as you rise and breathe in. Exhale, fold. Now stepping out and walking out to high plank. Hands are beneath the shoulders. Gaze is down toward the floor. Press the floor away from you with your palms, and you'll notice that your upper back spreads wide. Let the belly button engage toward the spine. Perhaps you rock back and forward. Coming back to the still plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale. Press the hands into the mat. The chest moves toward the shins. Inhale, right leg lifts. Bend the knee deep, open up the hips. Knee aims toward the ceiling. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, through to cheetah, knees, knee to nose. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah. Inhale, three point. Step it through, low lunge. Inhale, lift up for a crescent. 
settle in here and just start to feel your body. If you want, you can drop down to that back knee. You can also lift the back knee, drop down to the back knee. Lift the back knee, drop down. Lift the back knee, drop down. Lift the back knee, breathe in. Exhale, palm the mat, step back to high plank. Go to the knees and drop to the chest and then the chin. Pull through for a baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, left leg high. Bend the knee deep. Open up the hips. Feel equal weight in both palms. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah. Inhale, three point. Exhale, cheetah. Inhale, three point. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. Inhale for crescent. You can stay here. You can drop to the back knee. And now if you want, you can breathe in and lift the knee. Drop the knee, exhale. <laughs> lift the knee, inhale. Exhale, drop the knee, inhale. Lift the knee, exhale, drop it. Inhale, lift the knee, breathe in big. And palm the mat, step back to high plank. Now you can drop to your knees or you can chaturanga all the way down to the belly. From here, lifting up for a teenage cobra a little bit higher. Gaze is down. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking the hands to the back of the mat to your feet. Step your feet wide. Drop your booty down. For Malasana, we're just going to kind of rock back and forth for this one. Pressing the elbows to the knees, the hands into each other. And just kind of rock back and forth. It sounds like I'm farting, but my foot is on the floor making sounds. It's kind of funny. These are the things that I laugh at in my life. <laughs> Breathe in. Exhale, palm the mat, forward fold. Heel toe the feet together. And let your head just drop. Grab elbows in each hand. Give yourself that same sway that you did earlier. Notice the difference in your body, in your mind, in your breath. Come to stillness. Palm the mat. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Heel toe the, the feet mostly together. Big toes touch. Heels can be maybe about an inch apart. Whatever your body does is perfect. Inhale for chair. Breathe in. Drop the, bo the bottom down. Chest and heart open. Shoulders back and down. Hands reach up to the sky. Straight line with the fingertips all the way down to the tailbone. Breathe big full breaths. Inhale to rise. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lengthen. Exhale fold. Walk the hands out to high plank. Chaturanga is yours. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Vinyasa if you want. Through cobra or up dog.
Inhale the right leg high. Exhale, step it through to the front. You can also help yourself. And <clears throat> from here, drop to the back knee. You can take the right foot and heel toe it out to the right a little bit. And this may be perfect. You can also lean into it a little bit more. You can place your elbows on a block. You can place your elbows on the ground. We're going to be in this lizard lunge for a few breaths. Keep breathing. On your next inhale, start to press your hands into the mat. Heel toe that foot in. Untucking or lifting the back knee, press your knee off the floor. Now you're in that low lunge. Step back to high plank. Take a breath in. Downward facing dog. Just notice your body. Notice your breath. Inhale, lift the right, the left leg high. Exhale, step it up to that lunge to the outside of the left foot. You can drop to that back knee. And notice your body. See if this side is the same, if it's different. Again, no judgment. No judgment. You can drop to your forearms, a block. And we will be here and breathe. We store a lot of energy and tension in our hips. When we allow ourselves the time to let them open and be patient and give them the breath that they need. Thoughts, emotions, energy may rise. My encouragement is to keep breathing through it. Be with you. Don't leave you. Don't back out now. You've made it this far. Couple more breaths. On your next inhale, press your hands into the mat. Walk that left foot in just a little bit. Lift the right knee. Take a breath in. Step back to high plank. Downward facing dog. Notice your body now. Notice how the energy has moved. Dropping down to tabletop. <clears throat> Let's see, can you see? Okay. We're going to inhale our right arm high. Breathe in. Exhale, we're going to thread the needle. So we're going to take it underneath that left arm. 
The left arm can reach up toward the top of the mat. The head can rest on the ground. Maybe you feel the back of your heart begin to open up. Keep breathing. My right palm is down on the earth. On your next inhale, take the left hand and press yourself back up to tabletop. I just like to recenter for a moment. We're just going to do a gentle switch of sides. So inhale, the left arm reaches high, gaze up. Exhale, threading it through underneath that right arm. Walking the left hand out. The right hand can stay where it is. I like to pull it, place it at the top of the mat. And breathe. Feel this side of your heart opening up from the back. They say that the backside of our energy centers is where we receive a lot of energy and information and experiences. So oftentimes if we don't feel worthy of receiving love in this world, we can manifest it with tight shoulders, upper back pain, and things of that nature. So perhaps as you're here with your breath opening up the back of the heart, you remember that you are. You are I am. I am is worthy of love because I am is love. On your next inhale, begin to take your right hand and press yourself back up to tabletop. Crisscrossing the toes and feet, we're going to roll over onto our bottoms. Placing both feet together for a diamond shape. Taking a breath in, lifting the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Just let your back and hinge and bend. The feet are not close to the body. They're actually more of like a diamond shape. But, <coughs> no, excuse me. Be with your breath. Be with your body. Don't leave you. I am. Let that be the repetitive message over and over again with every breath you take. Maybe the inhale is I and the exhale is M. Or maybe each breath inhale is I am and the exhale is I am. But keep breathing and notice what your body does as you sink into you. You can also take your arms and slide them under your legs, palms face up. If you have long arms like me, it makes, makes life easier so that, you're, so that my shoulders aren't in my ears. Let your body relax into you. Hold that space for you to be. Another couple breaths here. I 
On your next breath in, just begin to press yourself back up, extending the left leg out ahead of you, taking the right foot and crossing it over, taking a breath in, exhales, the right arm goes behind you, the left arm is gonna go either to the inside and you can pull, or it can go to the outside of your right knee. Your inhales create length in your spine. Your exhales allow you to twist a little bit more. Perhaps the, the eye gaze is off to the right. Give your eyeballs a little twist and stretch as well. Keep breathing. On your next inhale, start to unwind, come back through center, shake out your legs, and we're just gonna switch sides. So inhaling, create length in the spine. Exhale, twist to the left. The left hand presses into the floor, creating a second spine. The outside of the right elbow presses into the outside of the left knee, giving some gentle assists to yourself. As you breathe in, your spine becomes longer. The crown of the head reaches to the ceiling. And every time you exhale, you can energetically feel your entire torso twisting to the left. Your eyes gaze to the left, creating a stretch in the eye muscles. Breathing big, full breaths. On your next inhale, gently unwind. Stretch both legs out. Give them a shake. Crisscross, roll over to tabletop. While we're here, let's just do a few cats and cows. Breathe in as you drop your belly, inhale, look up. Exhale, arch your back, look at your belly. Press into the earth. Inhale for cow. Inhale, cat. Just a couple more on your own, just to move your spine around in a different direction. Because we've been twisting. Coming back to neutral. Tucking the toes and sitting back on the heel. Heels, both of them. Unless you have one foot, you use heel. Now you can stay here. If you're a runner, or if you wear high heels, or if you don't stretch your feet out, this may be really intense for some of you. My encouragement is to be with you and to breathe. Let the energy move from your lungs all the way down your legs, all the way down to your toes and through the bottom of your feet. Stretch out those toe muscles. Everything is connected. You know, our, our toe muscles are not separate from our hand muscles. They're completely connected between the blood and the fascia alone and the skin. Taking breaths that are big and full. Take another breath in, exhale, tabletop, untuck the toes and just kind of, you can just hit your feet 
on the mat. Like, yeah, I did it, I didn't leave. And thank goodness that our toes and things don't leave us when we have a hard time. We'd be so, we'd be so in bad situations. So if you have a block handy or a blanket or something to rest your head on, I would highly encourage it. So um, lay down on your belly and extend your right arm out. Palm will face down. I like to scoot over to the left side of my mat because we're going to give ourselves a little roll. So extending your right arm out at 90 degrees. So sometimes we want to go up or down, but if it's in your capacity to be in 90 degree out of the body, that would be awesome sauce. So I like to place this block underneath my temple and I am going to take my left hand, press it into the mat and start to roll over. And you'll start to feel this open up your chest in your deltoid. Now you can take your left foot and place it on the mat. Your left arm can stay where it is or you can reach it around behind you. Some people can touch their each hand. I'm not there yet. You can also, if it's in your practice, you can take both feet onto the mat. It's in my practice, but not today. And we're gonna be here for a few breaths. So be gentle with yourself. Get your head supported. If your head's not supported, it just kind of tweaks your neck a little bit, and that's not cool. Breathe into the sensations. Notice if you need to back off or if you need to go a little deeper, maybe the deeper is in the stretch or the breath or a deeper relationship with your body, your mind, your spirit, this, this holy trinity of you that the I am is. Few more breaths here. Now, as you start to come out of this, be slow and gentle. Go out as you came in, unrolling, unfurling, unraveling. Let that arm pull back in. Yes. Still attached. It didn't leave us. I like to scoot over to the right because we're going to switch sides. So extending the left arm out. Right here. Placing the block under the head and taking the right hand, pressing it into the floor, giving yourself a twist. You can, you might just be here, not just. You might be here. It's a lot. You can place a foot, both feet. You can take the left arm back and around. Again, it's very important, I feel in this, to have your head rest on a block for real or a blanket. Otherwise, the neck can get all wonky because then the shoulders are stuck in the ears. So breathe. Notice if one side is more open than the other. You know, this is a big heart opener. It opens up the physical heart. It opens up all the muscles that surround it. And when we open up the area around our heart, we get to open up our heart with more ease. And it's also the inverse. If you open up your heart itself and love more, then all the muscles that surround it tend to relax. We don't hold as much tension. 
oftentimes, you know, we have our bodies put in positions of looking on a phone or a computer or working and our arms are pulled out in front of us like zombies. We forget that we are, we have these arms that move in all directions. So being easy with yourself, realizing that you're also in a twist. Another big breath in, big sigh out. As you start to slowly like taffy unravel. Super slow, super gentle with this one, y'all. Move the block out of the way and come up into a closed knee child's pose. So knees together, the arms reach out, let the forehead press into the mat. Recalibrate and recenter. Feel the lower back maybe open up just a little more. Pressing into tabletop for a moment, coming into child's pose with wide knees. So knees wide, toes together. Press the hips back to the heels. Reach the palms forward. Let the forehead press into the mat. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Walk the right hand off of the mat to the right. Let the left arm follow it. Perhaps the left hand rests on top of the right. Feel lengthen that left side body. Inhale, walk your hands back to center. Pause. On your next breath, walk your left hand off the mat to the left. Let the right hand follow. Perhaps it rests on top of the back of the left hand. breath. On your next inhale, come back to center. Pause for a moment. On your next inhale, press yourself up to tabletop. Crisscrossing the feet behind you, sitting down on your bottom, extending both legs out ahead of you. Setting up for Dhanushrasasana, taking your flesh away from your sits bones, keeping the left leg extended, take the right foot and place it on the inside of the left thigh. Taking a breath in as your spine lengthens, exhale forward fold. I'm going more straight and less over my left leg. It's a different stretch. If your torso is more over the left leg, it's a different sensation. If it's more over to the right, it's a different sensation. My encouragement is to be with you in exploration and discovery. See what feels good, see what feels like a stretch. And let your body settle into this shape. No pulling, no fussing, no fighting. Every exhale, your body just relaxes a little bit more. That may mean that your forehead gets closer to the ground. It may mean that your thoughts become easier. It may mean that your breath becomes more expansive, more nourishing.
you can, oh, I can't reach, you can take the block here and place it under your forehead, wherever your forehead is. That's why I like the block because it has three layers. And let your forehead rest. Our neck holds this big wobbly head up all the time. Give it a break. Just a couple more breaths here. Enjoy it if you can. <laughs> As you begin to come up and out of this pose as you breathe in, move the block out of the way. Come up slowly. Give this leg some thanks. Thank you, left leg. Love you. Love you. Give yourself a little massage. Why not? Oh, that feels really good. <laughs> Take the right arm behind you. We're going to set up for stargazer, extending the left arm out. We're going to sweep the energy and lift the hips up. Open up the chest, press the left foot into the earth, breathe big. On your next exhale, you'll come down, scoop in the air, the opposite direction in which you came. And switch legs, extend the right leg, bend the left. Taking a breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. Now you know we're going to be here for a little bit, so you probably don't need to shove yourself down to wherever you think you want to be. Be in awareness. Be in loving awareness. Be loving awareness with who you are and where you are in this now moment. And notice that every breath that you intentionally breathe that your body will shift. Everything changes around you. Even when you're not intentionally breathing, things are still moving and changing. Let's see where you are on this side. Can you let your body be what your body wants to be? without force and struggle and shame. Can you love and nourish your body and, and offer it ways to move that make it happy? Offer ways to stretch that is enjoyable, that doesn't hurt. Are there Spaces to, to give your body sources of pleasure that give more light to your spirit. You can place the block under your forehead, however that looks to you. Let the third eye press onto the block or your shin. These longer holds, these longer poses, allow the body to say, oh, we're going to be here for a little bit. Okay, I guess I'll release now. I guess I'll chill out. And oftentimes we either move, 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 or we don't move at all. And so to give our bodies this, is a gift and it's a deserved gift. few more breaths here. Remember the mantra, I am. Mm. 
your next breath in, start to make your way back up, pressing into the leg in gratitude. Thank you, right leg. I'm gonna give you a little massage too. Look at that. Oh, I love you so much. You carried me through my entire life. Extend both legs out ahead of you and give them a little shakety shake. Shakety shake. You might need to readjust your bottom flesh. We'll set up for a forward fold. For this, I like to use my blanket beneath my knees because my knees hyperextend. Um, and if your legs don't hyperextend and your hamstrings are tight, you can roll it up like a tootsie roll and give yourself a little bit of a bend in them just to makes it easier um, on the body. <laughs> so reset. Okay. So taking a big breath in, let the spine lengthen. If you want, you can reach up high. Exhale, hinge forward. Let the hands reach forward and then let them drop. The block is going to come in really handy. So you can take this block and place it on your shin and let your forehead rest so that it's a passive Paschimottanasana. They usually are and I feel like we don't get enough time in them to let the back body release more and to give us that time to look inward and to be with ourselves. So having the forehead able to rest on something calms the nervous system. And when our nervous system is calm, our muscles and everything just kind of relaxes and releases. This isn't the shape where we're pulling our toes and trying to pull ourselves closer down. Let the shoulders be soft and away from your ears. Remember who you are in this world, that you are a radiant, unique aspect, an expression of light, of love, of joy, of peace, and that you are worthy of not only being all those things, but experiencing them and receiving them in all shapes and forms. Let you be with you. Let your heart open wide. It is safe to be with you. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. On your next inhale, begin to slowly make your way up, giving your legs some love on the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, legs. You're awesome. Yay. We'll begin to set up for a final resting pose for Shavasana. You're also welcome to stay seated for a seated meditation if that strikes your fancy. Otherwise, Shavasana is my favorite. So lay down on your mat. Begin to get comfortable. Take the feet, wiggle them back and forth. Wiggle, 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 and then just let them plop. Maybe the palms are faced up as you're, face up as you're laying on this mat. I'm gonna stay seated for this portion.
Let your eyes close and feel the weight of your body on this earth. Begin to integrate all of the energy and blood and oxygen that move throughout your body during this time together, during this time on your mat, during this time with you. Let the actions and oxygen assimilate and anchor into this vibrant, healthy body. Feel the energy of your bones, healthy and strong. Feel your blood moving through this vessel with so much ease. See the electrical currents in your brain firing at perfect timing. Let go of intentional breathing and just let your body breathe. For the next few moments, let you be with you. No thought, no action, just you with you for Shavasana. Becoming aware of your breath. Take an intentional breath in, fill up your lungs, expand. Surrender this breath into this now moment with new potential to be you. A new opportunity for you to show up, shine this unique light that you are and to be the love that you are designed and destined for. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe your head looks to the right and to the left, giving the back of your head a little massage if you're laying down. And if you're sitting up, it still feels really good. Pressing yourself up to a seated position in the most comfortable way possible, keeping your eyes closed, placing your hands in prayer position in Anjali Mudra at your heart center. Feel the peace of the presence of you when you remember you 
and you remember who you are and you remember that you've always been with you and you're so consistent and you'll never ever be alone that you will always be with you foster and nurture and love that relationship of you and your highest self your soul your spirit the oneness and let that be what radiates from you and let that be what you see in others what we all see in each other that we all see the i am presence in everything and everyone around us we'll finish this practice with three ohms to manifest this world where the I am presence is seen and heard and felt and acknowledged, where the life of the namaste is the life. Take a cleansing breath in, breathe in. Exhale. And breathe in for three ohms, inhale. Oh. remember. Bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye. I bow to each and every one of you for being here on this earth plane at this time, for shining your light, for remembering your divinity, your perfection, and your grace. Namaste. Mm. Thank you all so much. I hope you've enjoyed this practice and I will see you again soon. Bye, y'all.